All right, that should have worked. There we go. And go to transition mode. Hmm, why did it just... And the game just crashed. Son of a funky biscuit. Try this again. <laughs> that's, I hope that's not indicative of things to come. But yes, hello everyone, and welcome to the chat. I'm Grey Codex, and let's pop right back in with cassette beasts. Yes, we. I did play the demo. I did play the demo twice. I'm a curious bean. What can I say? Now ride this night through the realm, into the wilderness of Whirl, few thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, unknown author, 14th century. All right, we are... Great, come on. Great. Codex. I go by he, he, him. My favorite color is a nice deep red. I know you're in here somewhere. I think that's the closest I can get, really. So it's either one or, you know, let's go with 12. Nice deep plum. I am pale. I'm honestly somewhere in between these two. <laughs> All right. I am not, let's see. Quiff, ponytail, sides whipped, balding, safety hunted mullet. That was fun, I quite enjoyed. Where is it? Lopsided. So here we go. Team hair accessory will be orange, glasses, eye colour, orange. Little gold glasses and my little beaky face. All right, let's get into it. As I teleport in in my pajamas. Ooh, the game is muted, and we don't want that because the soundtrack is honestly one of my favorite things about this game, beyond it just being utterly charming. There we go. That was still a little loose. Sorry, I smack the shit out of my microphone stand, um, so things have gotten a wee bit loose. Okay. That was some random chugger lugging. I don't like that. That does not bode well.
stranger. Don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers. Or anyone for that matter. Here, take this! Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? I am spooky. I'm not really, but I like Banshee a lot more than Can Devil. Yeah, I can see that. In that case, take this. Man sheep. The eerie moans of the wild man sheep at night have led many to believe that they are restless undead spirits, but this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just like to have a bit of a wine. Who doesn't? I will get you to five stars. I will. I have no bootlegs of it. Right, now pop it on your cassette player and put the headphones on and press play. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Well, you know the command for that, Ray. <laughs> womp womp. This might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn, don't be shy. Literally exclamation and call me stupid. Or idiot. Or fool. Sorry. <laughs> Just breathe. You'll adjust in a moment. Right. Did it not... Did it not save? Right, I know... Exclamation point stupid works. Because it worked for me. There we go. Alright, apparently I didn't save it because I did actually adjust that. A little bit last time. Right, let's smack a traffic crab. We're going to spit on it. Huh. I don't remember that fight being quite as easy. I remember it being easy, I just don't remember it being quite that easy. You handle yourself pretty well there. Um, what's your name? Thank you for that, Streamlabs. For that delightfully d delayed uh, response. I'm Kaylee. I'm Kaylee. Nice to meet your acquaintance, Grey Codex. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? What is this place? Welcome to Harbour Town. <laughs> Your new home. My new home? Uh... Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not very good at this part. <laughs> Don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. I don't feel so great. Lith Womp. Wonderful. Ah, wonderful. You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. <sighs> you had me scared for a moment, Grey Codex. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbour Town happened to have a spare home available for you. So, this is your place now. On Earth? On Earth? Kaylee, you haven't told him. Sorry. Sorry. I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New World. It's not, strictly speaking, on Earth. At least that's what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not, Grey Codex. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century and none have succeeded. <laughs> but but you're, you'll be okay. There's community in Harbour Town and we each help each other out. <laughs> it's not a bad life. And it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm actually going on a, a going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, come meet me at the gate. The one we, uh, the one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. Pretty sure world is ar word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. Uh... We also fetch you some clothes, fetch some clothes for you. But they might be a bit out of fashion for your era, but it's all we have. Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'll catch, you, I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then, if you like. Hmm. My clinic's nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. This must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. Luckily, a doctor ended up here, otherwise we'd be fucked. This is the world we live in. Speak to Kaylee at the Harbour Town East Entrance. Granger Handbook. That is what I wanted. The type chart. I will forget all of this. Now, I have one question. Oh, yeah, I should probably put on pants. Now, I'm going to see if this was going to work. Oop. Yeah! So, using the launch day code, you can find a bootleg traffic crab. Now, unlike Pokemon, the shiny system in this actually has tangible benefits. It permanently alters the type of the creature. So this is, I believe, a metal type traffic crab instead of plastic. The traffic crab's cone isn't actually part of its body. It's merely a traffic cone that is washed up on the shores of New Well and has been occupied by the creature. It is said that in the past they would instead find other objects to live inside. Harbordown Beach. Yep, so you can see the little icon that isn't as ghosted out there at the bottom, or at least doesn't have the box around it. So, yes, we have a metal-type traffic crab. Now, there was one that came out... Ooh. Oh. There was another one that came out around when the um, demo came out. I'm gonna wonder. I'm wondering if that's still available. Yeah, fair enough. I figured that was just going to be a demo-specific one. It was a glitter-typed dandelion. Whee! No shiny lion for me. Well, I mean, I could have uh, continued my uh, demo save uh, if I still wanted my shiny lion. What are you sagging? Oh, lordy. No wonder you're sagging. Terribly sorry. One second. I'm going to go to a break screen. Uh, my microphone stand is falling off.
There we go. And I will be... God damn it. What the hell? <sighs> and to answer that, Ray, I did think about it, but I wanted this to be a slightly more posterity-based uh, stream. Um, but at this point, I might change my mind about that, because that is the second time it has crashed. Um, admittedly, it has only crashed when trying to switch back to it for some reason, which doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. Like, I don't have any other... Like, I literally only have three programs running on my computer. Did it save? It did. Thank God. Yeah. And also, like, it's a new game, so I'm not overly surprised that there's little fiddly fiddly widgets that aren't necessarily as optimized as possible. Now, is this the doctor? Nope. Where is the doctor? Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of dying, please. Please help. <laughs> Welcome. Looking for supplies. All right. Poison cure. Burn cure. I have next to no monies. Goodbye. So yeah, that's on me. But I did also just want to remind myself where she was. Uh, Dr. Dr. Pensby, I believe, is her name? Is that Eugene? No, that's not Eugene. Come on. I won't talk to you! Huh? Huh? Have you been to the west side of Harbortown yet? I've been meaning to visit the Heritage Center over there. No, no I haven't. The, the, the gate's literally down and I'm new here. Chuckles. Silly man. Silly, silly man. Alright. Now... I know I can get something from the person that's going to be hiding up there, but he's not there yet, so I'm just going to go and continue the tutorial. Actually, can I buy any tapes yet? Or do I have to get them from Kaylee first? Bonjour. Bonjour. It's not too often we see a new face in here, especially not one as handsome as your own. I am Clemence. I am Clemence, and this fine establishment is the Gramophone Café. What can I say? I own many records and I brew the best coffee. Not that there's much competition. Please feel free to ask me any questions. I am in no rush. Au revoir. Au revoir. Do I try to keep up all the accents? It will probably go horribly, but I'm at least... It's, it's one of those stupid little things that fills me with joy. Uh, so we're going to keep going. Yes, yes. Hello, Kaylee. Hi again, Great Codex. Are you feeling a bit better? You know, you held your own the last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given this errand and I need a help in hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? I'll explain in just a moment. You see that path over there? It was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks there in the ground. We're going to check that path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Here, take the key to the gate. Hopper Town Gate Key. I love that the gate is physics based. It make me happy. <laughs> it's such a stupid, pity little detail, but it fills me with such joy. Alright, there's nothing down here yet. Yet, being the operative word. Right, uh, there are some basics I've got to show you first. Are you ready to turn into a monster again? <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. 
Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a moody floating sheep, then also you're the bike. So nothing at all like a bike. You see that creep over there with the boots? That's a spring heel. And we're going to get aggressive. And he's going to get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're going to get closer, of course. Because that's a good idea, Kaylee. I wish there was like a first jump mechanic. Like if you were able to jump on their heads, like they'd be stunned. Um, I'd enjoy it. Action points. Pay close attention to the act. The orange squares, they are your action points, or AP for short. Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use it this turn. Each party member gains 2 AP a turn, and an extra 1 if they land a type of advantage attack. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker, low AP moves. So I'm just going to use the smack, because that's all I got. Yeah, so we don't lose the fight until the red bar depletes, which is nice. Right! Right! Let's crack on! Peek the mic a bit there. Move that away from me just a touch. There we go. I'm not going to waste a good AP move when I don't have to. Smack. <laughs> got some pulp and I got some wood. Yeah. Nice work. Hmm. That elevator should be fun functioning. That'll be a switch around here to turn it back on. And it's right here button. Hey. Great. Let's head on up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry. I'll be sticking with you from here on out. Unlocked Kaylee. Kaylee is now your partner. And we have access to Sirenade. Sirenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voice through their microphone wings and tails. Sorry, microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Update. The world we live in. Let's go! Nope. I have to wait for this to come back down. Hey! You need to break Grey Codex. We can rest there if you like. These bonfire pits mark areas that's safe to set up camp. It gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Alright. Um, actually, first things first. I'm going to swap my party around. And put... Traffic Crab in front. Sure. Rest for four. I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a lot of great places to camp out. My dad would drive the two of us to the countryside and we'd stargaze together. Camping with you makes me feel nostalgic for that time. Probably going a wee bit too Scottish with our accent, but I'm trying. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. Alright. Spooky! Oh, my cursor is still on the screen. Whoopsies! <sighs> Fine. You knocked me off the thing. Rewind. Used to heal. Why my phone just do a buzzy buzz? And where is my phone? Do 
Come here, tiny mm. baby. There. Do you see that monster? There must be. There must be a way to get it over here. Why am I doing this? I don't have any tapes. All right, let's. Go. Very happy you don't move. Oh, and it's gone. That's annoying. And it makes sense, but it still sucks. Okay. Okay, take these. I wanted a carny viper. There's something about the monsters in New World when we can, their essence can be well recorded to cassette tapes. I don't entirely know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights such as lamps. Whether recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt while it was recording, and how much damage the person recording has taken. So basically, if we can keep damage to us down and damage it during the recording process, we are Gucci. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase your damage, the damage you deal to a target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated. So you don't need to worry about knocking it out. Moves and stickers. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You can gain new moves to a. You can. Sorry, I have the hiccups. You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put back in your inventory. <laughs> no! Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in a few ways by filling the tape's experience point bars, from chests or caches you find, and from certain merchants in Harbor Town. So it's a delightfully modular attack and ability system. So currently my Dominoth has Smack and Sprint, which raises our HP. Now try switching to the tape you just recorded, but I want to use Traffic Crab. But yes, so you can see how we're a metal type Traffic Crab, so it's uh, color pal palette has shifted as well. And I love it, it's, it's very cute. And that's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Now let's finish this bug off. Why do you have a fun attack? Especially you have a fun attack and I don't. Zephyr, Sonic Boom. What? That was new. Yes, and my traffic crab got elemental wall. Banshee plant sharpen. Excellent. Good level ups all around. <laughs> Is this meant to happen? Some monster forms give us well, extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. Don't panic! Wings. Mockwing Glide. You can now hold X to glide across long distances. This does consume stamina. Sorry. Sorry. I should have probably warned you, but I thought you might be a little bit easier to show you. 
We can use this glide to get over that gap right there. But I don't want to. I want to get that chest. I want the box. Give me the box. Lol. Slice, wood, plastic, and pulp. It's a halt. Ooh! That's nice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put some uh, stickers on my babies. Alright, and I kind of recycle it into pulp. Now, I'm going to put that on band sheep. Apply sticker. There we go. Mm. Have you seen these red caches about? Us rangers leave supplies in them for each other while traversing the island. In fact, I was just about to place something in this one. Why don't you take it instead? And I've got a re-spool. So if, a ta if one of my tapes breaks, I can fix it. No! I feel as though I'm not supposed to go that way yet. Ow. <laughs> it was painful. Candy Viper, come here. Come here, you sneaky friend. This noodle is friend shaped. Um, we're gonna put that on me. And we're going to spit. We're gonna take out the spring here. I really don't care. I should care about it, but I don't. Yeah. So the downside of walls is that they do take some of your HP to put up. It's basically uh, very similar to the move Substitute in Pokemon. Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantage attacks immediately break walls. So if I had something that was effective against metal, it would immediately just turn to slag. Okay, now we are going to... No! Thank God. Who's on Carmi Bank, though? Recording. Oh, that that took my that took his turn. You know, in retrospect, Sorry. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I want you to record, because you're safe behind a wall. And use Sonic Boom on both of them. I'm a fool. But at least I know this about myself. Can I use chat to call myself an idiot? <laughs> Yay! I got a noodle. Despite its grinning vintage, Carnivipa isn't actually a friendly creature. It is very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches, that is, that it deems a threat. Which tends to be anything and everyone. It's got spit and raise arms. New stickers. Ooh! Razor's range attack. Interessant. Yeah, I'll record the spring here. That's why I'm voting. Now, the benefit is, if you're recording something, it cannot be killed. So you can take it all the way to zero, and it'll still be up. Owie. I 
I love all of the little little sketchy doodles of them for the for the tapes. It's nice. Spring Hill gets their kicks by hiding behind corners and under the cover of night, before leaping out to surprise their victims. It appears they make their wings out of old discarded rags. It has smack and peekaboo. Yep, and it's dead. All right. Ooh, yeah, 120 experience points. Wonderful. All right. Uh, Dominoth gained Wallop, kind of Vapor got Toxic Stab, Spring Hill got Jump Scare, got some Plasting, and I got some Pop, which is perfect, because I'm going to immediately run back to town uh, and buy some more... Um, <laughs> ow. Uh, buy some more tapes. Oh, damn it, it's a Pom Bomb. I want a puppy. Oh, that's nice. They turn the light on when you come home. It's actually very sweet. Oh, wait, no. I need to go to Clements. Sorry, Clemence. Bonjour. Bonjour. What can I do for you? I need some tapes. I can buy... I can buy two. God dang it. <laughs> um, Alright, I can only carry one respool at a time right now. I've currently got okay, five of those. Um, I'm going to rest here for a moment. Take a break. What's nice is if you rest in town, it doesn't take any um, uh, resources. This might sound weird, but I think I actually prefer the smell of coffee to the taste. Don't be wrong, I think coffee's brilliant, but the smell always implies something so much greater. Agree to disagree, darling. I quite enjoy the taste of coffee. Granted, I don't know if that's indoctrination at this point, um, but I I will admit that I... The smell of coffee is delightful. Now, I am just going to check one thing. I might have uh, had... I don't remember if it was Valentine's or Valentine. Nope. Fair enough. Just wanted to check. that way yet. Because I'm on the tutorial. I don't know why I turned into Neat Boy. Or Neat Bull from uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force there for a second. But it did. Yes. Come on. I'm a curious lad. I want to explore. Death from above. start recording it. Ooh. Slurp. Why must you slurp? It feels unnecessary. Right, so I'm going to record. Basic tape. Use on. Bum bum. Fight. Sonic boom.
Yeah. So air types blow. Yeah. The type interactions in this are so freaking cool. I got a puppy! Pom-poms are universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures in New World, if it weren't for their habits of accidentally setting anything and everything on fire. They would make quite good pets. So basically, uh, someone gave, Ra gave Riley the power of napalm. Spit, dog ears, and sticky tongue. Oh, you know, I'm at your space. Granted, I do like that you can basically mulch um, tapes that you don't need for the stickers on them. It's a little fucked up, but I do, I do like it in a in a very depressing kind of way. Smack. Had to do it. All right. Ooh, kind of hyper learned a uh, revenge strike, which is a um passive. So not all stickers are active abilities. <laughs> yes, your son with arson. Uh, not all of stickers are active abilities. Some are passive, like revenge strike, which is a re well. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It's a revenge strike. There's a chance for for me to automatically go in and hit when I'm smacked with a with a melee attack. All right, and everyone is leveling up nicely. Get over here. I want the experience points. Rude. Please work? Damn it. Oh no, it hits Kaylee too? Oh no! I did not realize that I feel very stupid now. Um, shoot. Um, fight. Uh, let's just double down on the crab. Let's go with Bansheep. Slice. Mount Wanahakalugi. Bad Turing Ram. <laughs> Your accuracy is down now that you're dead. All right, Bansheep is level three. Traffic, yes. So I got an uncommon ability for my Traffic Crab. So my Metal Traffic Crab now has a fire ability. So another fun thing about the bootlegs is that all of their abilities are randomized. Or at least a majority of them. Like, their, their moveset is completely changed as well, along with their typing. And it's such a fun idea. I can't believe it's taken this long for something like that to be implemented in a game. Um, I got some plastic. All right. Uh, inventory. Let's quickly respool little crappy boy. Um, no, honestly, you both didn't take that much damage. Um, I 
Right. Turn on that so we get the fast travel point back up here. Huh? What's going on? If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Let's go. Cool. 